Good morning, authors. So today we are going to learn how to work on our lead for our opinion writing. So we're going to go over this presentation together just like we were actually in the classroom. So remember your lead is the very first sentence of your writing and your lead should do the following things. It should hook the reader. Remember when you hook the reader, you're grabbing their attention. They want to read more after they read your lead. You also need to name your topic about what you are going to write about. So for this writing, our topic is about an iguana. Lastly, you need to state your opinion. You need to say whether or not you would want a pet iguana. So the first step is hook the reader. We want to grab our reader's attention. So in our last writing unit, we learned about how to use a question to hook our reader. So I want you to think about a question you can ask your readers that you think will get their attention. So let's think about that for a second. So the example that I'm going to use is, have you ever considered having an iguana as a pet? So now your readers are questioning themselves. They're saying, huh, would I ever want an iguana as a pet? Second, you need to name your topic. You need to tell your readers what it is that they're going to be reading about. So what are you going to be sharing your opinion about? So in your example, in my example, I want to have I want to invite my reader to continue reading about having a an iguana as a pet. So my example says, if so, you should continue reading to find out more about pet iguanas. So now your lead has two sentences already. First, you started off with a question. Have you ever considered having an iguana as a pet? And then now you're telling your reader, if so, you should continue reading to find out more about pet iguanas. Finally, before you start writing, you need to state your opinion. So, okay, so it's important for your readers to know if you would want a pet iguana or not. So my example says, in my opinion, I would want to have an iguana as a pet. And using the state the the frame in my opinion that's a really great tran transition because you're telling your reader this is my opinion so here's my example after including all three parts of the lead so let's read our completed lead together have you ever considered having an iguana as a pet if so you should continue reading to find out more about pet iguanas in my opinion i would want to have an iguana as a pet so today, writers, I want you to try your very best to include all three different parts of your lead. Remember, that includes hooking the reader, naming your topic, and then finally stating your opinion. And if you're having a difficult time trying to include all three of those in your lead, you could just state your opinion as your lead if you want. So instead of including hook the reader and name your topic, you could just say, in my opinion, I would not want a pet or I would not want an iguana as a pet. And then you can start listing your reasons. Okay, so your task for today in writing is to work on your lead on your flea map. When you're done, don't forget to take a picture of your lead and submit your work on Google Classroom. And finally, I want to remind you, what are some things good readers or good writers do? Remember that we use capital letters at the beginning of each sentence and whenever we're talking about a proper noun. So that means someone's name, the name of a restaurant, Make, make sure you're using punctuation marks. That includes commas, period, question mark, exclamation mark. Remember to use spacing in between each words, in, in between each word. And then finally, go back and reread your writing. I want you to ask yourself, does this make sense? Hmm. So writers, today that is your task. I want you to work on your lead. Okay, we've done this before. We've practiced multiple times and try your very best to include all three different parts. I know you're going to do a great job.